Aqua back to my channel. Hope you guys are well today. So it's back to school again. Kids are excited. Some have dreaded going back because they're not ready. Some are just starting college as freshmen. Some are going back to the second year, third year, closer to graduation. Exciting, right? I remember being in between because I wasn't really excited about school. At the same time, I was excited because I was getting closer to finish. Some people spend four years in college. Luckily for me, I finished in three years with a full-time job in the fall and spring semester and a part-time job in the summer I just couldn't wait to get out and honestly I don't know how I made it through it's only by the grace of God but what happens after you graduate you graduate with a degree but no job before graduating to school I searched for jobs everywhere and I couldn't find anything meanwhile some of my friends were landing jobs already had jobs lined up for them and had interviews and all that stuff and I was like what in the world am I doing wrong but according to the Washington Post Four out of five college students graduate without a job, so you're not alone. Meanwhile, I still maintained a job on campus as a teacher assistant until I graduated. After I graduated, it took me months before I landed a job, and it was a temp job. I had jobs such as clerical, admin, receptionist, database administrator, event coordinator, little things like that, but it was short term. Somewhere for a day, a week, three weeks, three months. So it was cool, I was making some money, not wasting time, gaining experience. It was cool and everything, but I felt like I could do more and I wanted to do more. So I called up the temp agency that I was working with at the time. I was like, yo, I am so grateful that you guys are giving me jobs and hooking me up and all that. But I really want to use my skills, man, because like I graduated with this degree and I'm just like, I feel like I'm not utilizing my skills and I really want to. So she was like, oh, not a problem. Because this agency actually has divisions and um, my ass is my background. So I was like, you know, I really want to do, you know, use my skills and all that stuff that I learned at school because I'm going to forget. You know, she was like, oh, no problem. So she made some calls for me and then I got, gave me some numbers to call and then I called um, the technology side of that um, agency and they... Within a few weeks, they had a job for me, and it was an IT job. I loved it, I was, but it was a long-term contract. It wasn't really full time. It was better than what I was doing before, so at least I had a steady income coming in every week. So a year goes by, and this company that I'm working for does not want to give me a permanent position. So I was talking to one of my dad's friends. He was like, oh, my company is hiring, and this is a company that I've been dreaming of working for for, like, the longest. And he was like, the pay is, like, better than what you're earning now and get benefits you get paid holidays you get paid vacations i was like yes you know so i gave him my two weeks notice to this temp job that i'm at and they were like oh no don't go we want you here okay we're gonna give you a raise and i'm like no that's not what i want i want a full-time job and they're like well you know we can't give you that now but we can give you a raise and they actually gave me a raise but i was like Ugh, yeah i kind of want this job because it's like almost like part of my daydream job not my nighttime dream job but like the daytime dream job but um so uh, i i rejected the offer and um i left after two weeks i left and i started this job that i'm working at and it has nothing to do with my background nothing at all i'm learning new things i'm contributing to the company and it's all good good pay good benefits close to home and i'm happy and it's all by the grace of god fast track two years later i'm still at this job it's permanent and everything they have laid off shut down two of the companies that i was with they transferred me and it's all by the grace of god i'm still at this company and i just give all the glory to god because I don't know what's so special about me but he's the only one that's actually kept me in the company because they could have laid me off you know but I'm still there and I'm still working there so yeah life doesn't always go as planned not everyone gets a chance to work with the degree they actually went to school for which is cool whatever situation you may be in don't rush if you just graduated from school or are about to graduate from school and haven't landed a job searching for a job and kept finding nothing don't panic the jobs are out there the ones that you're probably applying for is not the one that god wants for you so take your time enjoy the break from school because once you start working you're going to be working for the rest of your life well at least until you retire but do this if you're okay financially if you're living with parents great enjoy the time after school travel do things just have fun until you get back into the whole work adult life kind of thing because like i said once you start you ain't stopping. So enjoy, enjoy the break, enjoy life, have fun, the jobs will come. If you really need a job, try temp agencies. If you can't find anything, try them out until you learn something. And once you get your foot in the door, 
then you can actually work your way up to what you really want. So yeah, that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos like this. Comment below if you experienced this situation as I did. If you know anybody who is about to graduate, this tip can help them. Just share this video with your friends, family, everyone. And thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to y'all later. Bye.